Do you have one of those teammates, not somebody who's incompetent or actively aggressive or nasty, but one that's just so annoying and has these little habits and idiosyncrasies that drive you around the bend? Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, and over 25 years of studying teamwork, I've seen a lot of these, and I've seen a few lately. I just needed a chance to vent. So I'm gonna give you my list, and then I would love to hear from you. What are the behaviors from your teammates that are just, ah? Okay, number one, the teammate who asks you for something, you know, acts like it's a big rush, a big hurry, and so you move your priorities off, and you stay late, and you get it done, and then they haven't even opened the email for three days. What? <laughs> so self-centered, making it seem like your priorities are way less important for, than theirs. Awful. Number two, the person who treats you like their own private Google. It's something like they just turn to you and they're like, uh, what's the fastest way to get from New York to San Francisco? Or how many widgets are sold in the average year? Um, and, and I fall for that one all the time. I'm like, I just call up Google and I, what? I'm not your own audio personal assistant. You can actually figure this out for yourself. Don't treat me like your own private Google. No, so annoying. A third one, oh, the person who's always trying to sound so smart. You know, they're talking about how to utilize a novel paradigm to generate accretive outcomes. Oh, come on, really, give it a rest. You don't need to pretend you're smarter than everybody else. So annoying. Okay, another one. The person who is chronically late for meetings, like somehow they just can't figure out how to get there on time, and then 10 minutes in, they'll say things like, oh, um, okay, sorry that I'm late. Could you just go back and you know tell us, tell me what you covered? No. You were late. Just because you were late, just because you missed the bus, doesn't mean that everybody else has to back up and use up their time on that. No way. Or same thing, they're late, and then they go on like, well, somebody might have already said this before I got here, but, and then they go on and, and say it. Well, actually, somebody did say it before you got here, and it was way more articulate than you just said it. No, thank you. Uh, talking about meeting etiquette, the person who walks into the meeting room takes one look around and decides that somehow the temperature is not maximally conducive to their, I don't know what, and they just walk over and change the thermostat without asking anybody. You know, I've had this so many times, some guy in a three-piece suit walks in and puts the thermostat down to the level of like happy penguin. And I'm sure guys can relate to the woman who's walked in, cranked the heat so it's, you know, approximately the right setting for doing Bikram yoga. No, your own personal thermostat is not the official team thermostat. Ugh, ah, drives me kooky. All right, another one. The person who is just blowing sunshine at you all the time and saying all these nice things and pretending that you're such good friends and then you catch them at the water cooler slagging you or saying something totally different than what they said to you. No, passive aggressiveness is uncool. And if that's a problem, take a peek at my video on how to deal with it. Okay, the final one. The person on your team who's just, oh, woe is me, I have so much to do. This is so hard. My work is harder than anybody else's. But when you offer to help, they're like, no, no, it's fine. No, you can't turn down help and then play the martyr. No way. All right, those are a few of mine that just teammates, not necessarily that there's anything horrible or they're incompetent, but just their behaviors are so unnecessary and so annoying. I wanna know, what would you add to my list? Let me know in the comments. All right. I'm Dr. Leanne Davey with absolutely nothing constructive to say today, but thanks for letting me vent.